When a bitter, nagging woman like Lydia Hampton is offered riches and power, and when she doesn't even question the price she must pay for all this, then all the evils of the cult of Seth are unleashed. O oh, great Seth, god of life and after death, grant me my wish. Make me rich and important. Lydia's husband is summoned by his boss. Bud, we have to let you go. Your work is unsatisfactory. But sir, I... Lydia will be furious when I tell her I lost my job again. Maybe if I got her a gift. A solid gold Egyptian necklace for only five dollars. Please buy it. Lydia should like it. I'll take it. At last, at last, I'm free. Free. Crazy old geezer. I hope this makes Lydia happy. It, it feels as if it were alive. Lydia, darling, I, I brought you a present. A present? What have you done now? I... I lost my job. You fool. I don't know why I married you. I could have had a rich man. After Bud was asleep, the idiot tried to appease me with a cheap imitation. And yet, there seems to be a strange force in it. It's so cold and yet powerful. I wish it really were valuable. Then I'd be rich and powerful as his necklace. Huh. Marks of teeth? Just as if these snakes had bitten me. Who, who are you? Have no fear, Lydia. I am the last owner of the Necklace of Seth, god of life and after death. All of your wishes will be granted now you are the chosen priestess of Seth. You can have anything you want, if you do as I say. To be rich, I'd do anything. Good. First, you must kill your husband. Murder? No. What if I am caught? You won't be caught. Call on Seth. He will protect you. If I smother him, no one will ever know. I'll say it was a prowler. Seth, oh Seth, help me! Fear not, oh my priestess Lydia. I will give you protection. Now, call the police. The police arrive soon after. You'll have to come down to the station. We'll check your story later. In her cell. This cold, damp place ain't fit for humans. I rather like it here. The next day. I'm Arnold Bush. I don't know why I'm here, but a voice told me to help you. I'd like to handle your case. I think I understand, Arnold. We're letting you go, Miss Hampton. We agree that your husband was killed by an unknown prowler. Lydia saw a great deal of Arnold Bush after that. I've come to care for you a great deal, Lydia. I want to show you something. I built this for my late wife, who died before she saw it. It's yours. Will you be my wife? Yes, Arnold. Of course I'll marry you. I promise to help you, oh my priestess Lydia. After a quiet wedding, they settled in their new home. Thank you, O oh Seth, for granting my wish for wealth. Your good fortune is not yet complete. Soon your husband will die, my priestess, and you will get more riches. Lydia, why do you spend your time in that wet cellar? Come upstairs. Leave me alone. I can't stand the sunlight. I like the quiet, soothing dark. A few weeks later, Seth pays his priestess a visit. You are a widow, Lydia. Strange. Arnold Bush walked right in front of a heavy truck just as I passed by. You will be even richer now. Thank you, Oseph. I was tiring of him. <laughs> After the funeral, Lydia went to the law office of Brent Denton. Mr. Denton, I'd like you to handle my estate and my late husband's law practice. I'd be delighted, my dear. Shall we settle the details at lunch? The power of the necklace seems to increase with each passing day, as Seth decreed it. I am glad you let me merge your late husband's business with mine. I hope someday we can be more than just partners. I now pronounce you man and wife. Another man begins to wonder, Are you sleeping in that wet cellar again? Better see a doctor. You're acting strangely for weeks. I don't need a doctor. I like sleeping in the cellar. Just leave me alone. I can't stand the sunlight. It blinds me. The hot dry heat in here is too much. It's so nice downstairs. And then an evil day came. My neck. It, it looks like a snake skin. Seth, oh Seth, what is happening to me? Do not worry, my priestess. Have I not taken care of you so far? Ah, my skin. I'm shedding my skin just like snakes do. Seth, Seth, I'm frightened. Why are you afraid? You made a bargain and must turn into a serpent as the others have. Do you think there was no payment for all I've done? Please, oh please, I'll give back my wealth and my position. Only release me from this promise. 
You became my priestess when you were bitten by my pets of the necklace. You can only halt the transformation if you sell it to one as greedy as yourself. Lydia? Lydia! What's wrong? Who are you talking to? Oh, help me, Grant. Help me! <laughs> You're not Lydia! You're a snake! No, no, it's me, Lydia! That necklace... Good heavens, you are Lydia! I'll call the doctor! No, there is only one way to stop this. I must go! Lydia, Lydia, come back! I must sell it, I must! Please, please buy this gold necklace. I'll take any price for it. Don't touch it. Let's get away from her. Please buy it, please, only a penny. But buy it from me quickly. No, don't go away! Come back! Do you want all your wishes to come true? Just buy the necklace from Lydia. But remember, you must pay the price.